Welcome back to Weather Command, a Fox weather breaking news story right now. The U.S. Marine Corps searching for a missing helicopter with five Marines on board. It was en route from Creech Air Force Base in Clark County, Nevada. And then that was last night. It was on its way to Marine Corps in the Miramar, Southern California base. Uh, it, they don't know what's happened. The San Diego Sheriff's Office attempted to send a search helicopter, but the chopper was, re, you know, reported overdue. They got out and they had to recall their helicopter due to the ongoing atmospheric river storm that's happening in the West. Right now, it is unclear if weather has played a role in the missing aircraft, but we know that it impeded part of the search. Fox 5 San Diego reporter Heather Lake is in Pine Valley, California. Heather, low visibility, uh, snow's probably hindering the situation. You're there in Pine Valley. It's 3,900 feet elevation. You're right at the freezing point, 32 degrees with snow. Right, and so it's really cold out here, and I will tell you that the conditions in San Diego not used to what this CAL FIRE team and these crews are used to search and rescue efforts. So I want to give you a look around, too, so that you can see what's going on. We've got heavy precipitation, mix of rain and snow melting by the time it gets to the ground. But where they heard the last ping and where they got the information from the location of where this missing helicopter could be with U.S. Marines, five U.S. Marines on board, is about a few miles from where we are, and it's at 53 hundred feet where some of the snow is accumulating anywhere today from six to ten inches and even more on the way. So we have that winter storm warning that is in effect right now. And what we do know is that these Marines were traveling from that Creech Air Force Base, which is just northwest of Las Vegas, back to San Diego to Miramar Air Station here. We know that five U.S. Marines were on that helicopter. And what we know is that right now they were overdue. It was reported over overdue around 2.20 this morning. So they were waiting for daylight and we have several search and rescue efforts underway from several different agencies. We're talking about the U.S. Forestry Division, San Diego Sheriff's Department, Borstar, which is the border agent, and they said they've got to do it old school. So not only do they have drones up and they're using technology today as opposed to putting a helicopter up in the air, but they also have people that have got their big backpacks on. They've suited up and now they're on foot in this kind of weather. So these conditions definitely not good for search and rescue efforts, but still hoping for the best out here. Um, again, all of this came in at 2.20 in the morning. We've got a mix of pretty heavy, wet snow coming down, mix of precipitation changing into rain as the temperatures change and move throughout the day. But this winter storm warning uh, definitely affecting not only what they're dealing with here with those search and rescue efforts, but the terrain really hard in this area too. These are the mountains. We have four microclimates in San Diego. And when you get up to the mountains, there's a lot of mixed terrain and they're dealing with heavy snow conditions mm. on a day like today after we've already seen, Amy, those atmospheric rivers move through San Diego, uh, drench us down in the city and then put snow up in our mountains. Looks like the winter storm warning is going to be in effect there until noon tomorrow. Have you been able to see any rescue efforts or, or, or search efforts that have been ongoing? Because just from the vantage point in your backdrop, the visibility looks to be awful. I, I don't know how they could get aircraft up to look. Yeah, there won't be any aircrafts going up. We actually talked to um, the search and rescue teams that are here from CAL FIRE. So we're at Kitchen Creek Helicopter Base. They won't be sending any helicopters up from here. They've been talking to the local Coast Guard units down in San Diego to see if they could get anything up in the air. As of right now, all of these efforts are kind of communicating with each other, all these different agencies. But what we did just see is Borstar, which is our Border Patrol search and rescue crews, putting on backpacks, getting in their vehicles. So they're going to be doing it old school. They're going to be basically hiking up in those mountains and hoping for the best. That last ping again coming from that helicopter, and that's just miles from here, but still at 5,300 feet and lots of snow on the ground where they're going to be hiking today. Tough conditions, uh, off-road vehicles probably used until they can't be. And as you say, they will have to get on foot to look. Uh, very, very tough situation. We'll continue to get with you there in, in the Southern California area to get updates. Fox 5's Heather Lake in Pine Valley, California.